Current, current TV, TV NYC. Oh, just like that. I watch Current TV all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like that new stuff, the puppy does. What's that called? Hippity hop? Uh, no. <laughs> Yes, it's crazy because, you know, you have to think about with Nas's album, um, Hip Hop is Dead, I mean, it's a natural progression of what he thinks. But I'll tell you one thing, in March, Hip Hop is Alive, Karis One, Marley Mall, Hip Hop's Alive, it's the name of the album. It's real. Um, yeah, there's a lot of social comments that could be made in Hip Hop, but see, Hip Hop is driven by the fans and the kids and the people, so if it's not a subject that the fan and the kids and the people want to hear, it's not gonna go over too well. Well, it's just what it is. Right, they're not. I mean, that's for those who do. You know what I mean? That's it's like kind of eclectic in that in that form because if you do gospel hip hop, you like gospel hip hop. If you like underground hip hop, you like underground hip hop. If you like whack ass hip hop, you like whack hip hop. You know, so it's, hip hop has become so many genres right now. It's gospel. It's underground. And it's, it's commercial, so it's, it's, it's just a genre. Hey. Yeah, it's what you into. Even with you, you said hip hop changed. Um, you know, maybe hip hop is not for you. You know what I mean? Oh no, it is for me. There's some old school hip hop I love. Of course, but I'm saying that. But the new stuff, you know, it's not. It's not really for. It's for like young kids. So. I can't, I can't, I, I love hip hop, I'm a fan of it, but it's not for me. You know See, I, mean? I just look like... Well, you know, it's hard to predict where it's going next. It's definitely going up and out. I mean, like you said, it's every gamut of music. It's crossed over to McDonald's commercials to, I mean, everybody's rapping nowadays. So, I see hip hop is, honestly, I really can't tell you. I don't even know what's next for hip hop. Uh, Molly Maul is a, he's alive, I'm alive, I mean, You'll see on stage tonight, I have a whole, I'll, I'll talk about that on stage. And I'm a Nas fan, but hip hop isn't dead. I'm alive and I am hip hop. Okay. Okay. All right, we're here with another model and uh, she looks really great. And uh, what's your name? Tanisha. Tanisha. Tanisha, we can't hear over the music, okay. Tanisha, but I, it'll come through. Um, all right, Tanisha, so well, what are you modeling tonight? What's this outfit? Tonight I'm modeling lingerie by a uh, designer. Um, I can't remember the designer. <laughs> what is it called? I'm not quite sure, I'm sorry. Oh, you're not? Oh, that's all right. All right, so. Uh, I look good have, in it anyway, but hey. All right, Tanisha, what, so what, have you done modeling before? Yes, I have. I've been modeling for about five or six years. Have you done any magazine stuff? Or? Um, I have a couple of magazines that's coming out. Some are coming out in February, January. Street Connections, look out for that. What's the name of the magazine? Street Connections. Street Connections. Oh, February. Yeah. All right, is that a New York magazine? And uh, so, what are you going to be doing in the future? So I... Well, I'm trying to get on the Max next time model. Wish me luck, but yeah. I got high hopes. All right. <laughs> All right, you're a very beautiful girl, and um, I wish you luck. And you're going to be on Fred's Interesting Topics in a week. 
Alright. Alright. Oh, ho, ho. Poor, uh, hip hop Harry here. Um, I'd like to. <laughs> Wish ya. That's on thing East. Uh, happy birthday. Uh, I'm glad to be here today at this, uh, uh what is it, the whole event. And, uh, <laughs> uh, I just want to say a few things about hip hop. Is hip hop dead? No, it's not. Do I look dead to you? <laughs> I am hip hop as well. I know you're looking at me, old white guy. What could hip hop and me have in common? Well, back in the day, I loved hip hop, especially when it was just about fun. Then came that, uh, that, <laughs> Gangster rap. Uh, now, maybe it had its time and place, but uh, I think the time now is a little different. It's more acceptable to love each other, to care about each other. <laughs> and uh, I quit smoking, so uh. <laughs> anyway. I just want to say, back in my day, uh, there was gangs, not unlike today, um, but uh, as you see from these graffiti art that was done on a wall with permission, of course, not messing people's property up, because <laughs> that's not nice, um, it, uh, a, lot of, a lot of people died because of gangs and gang wars and well what does that have to do with hip hop you ask what I think it has to do with hip hop is we have to go and use it as an art form to talk about our stories <laughs> now of course if you're talking about something you did wrong years ago and you changed your life then <laughs> then bless you but uh, anyway um I also have some clips here from the first VH1 Hip Hop Awards. Take a look. I feel any time that, that uh, any type of musical genre could acknowledge history as being part of its present and future, it's a necessary thing. Thank you. So in other words, do what you do because you got to do it, right? Well, if you're doing the wrong thing, then I can't speak for you, but if you're trying to do the right thing, cool. Right. Oh, my God, hip-hop, 30 years, here's to 30, 30 more years, and to making mucho, mucho, mucho more dollars and much more diamonds. Bob, Bob, Bob. Well, now you get to see the true life colors of what DJ Hollywood is, and the truth of the matter is, I'm just glad to be here, man. I appreciate the, the gesture, and I appreciate them acknowledging uh, the hard work I put in, because I started this when it was just digging trenches, when it was just working hard to uh, make a buck at $15 a night. So it wasn't the glamorous, most glamorous job, and everybody wasn't trying to do it until I came up with a little formula that, incredible, that included some rhyming to uh, the sound of tracks, and after that, people started feeling that. It took a long time, though, because uh, how was that be at the time? We're like, oh, man, get this guy out of here, man. All that talking, man, let us hear the record. Let Thank God. Uh, when it all happened back in the day, uh, the first people that turned me on were Debbie Harry and uh, Fat Five Freddy. They took me up to the Bronx and they said, hey, now nah, we got to take you to this thing. I walked in and they were playing my record. It was like the only record I heard for about four hours. I thought it would never last, but you showed me that a lot of people in the game still got class. But you know what? When I was on the turntables, I loved to come fast, but you know, I'm just here and I represent the hip-hop, man. I love hip-hop, I just scratch for free in the park. And now it's a big pain in the game, but you know what? Respect the game and the game will respect you. 23 years and I'm still eating. 23 years and I'm still on tour. You got any, you got any advice for up-and-coming artists? Up-and-coming rappers, believe in yourself. Nobody can stop you. The sky's the limit. But make sure you got two lawyers. One watching him and the other one watching the other one. That's all good. Oh, Magoo, you done it again.